Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another story video. I was really hesitant about making this because, I don't know, I just didn't really think it would go down well. But at the end of the day, it's an experience. Just want to say, if you're enjoying these story videos, please be sure to leave the video a huge thumbs up. You guys smashed the support on the past two, so thank you so much. So I asked everyone in the previous story video if they wanted to hear it, and so many of you guys said yes. So I always feel like I am obliged now to tell you. Um, I just want to quickly put a disclaimer or whatever um, that yes, this story does involve talks about weed and cannabis. Um, it's purely an experience. I do not do this <laughs> all the time whatsoever. You'll find out why I did this in a second. I am in no way whatsoever encouraging people to go and do what I say in this story. I am just simply telling an experience of mine that happened in Barcelona just over a week ago. So, as you all may or may not know if you saw the last story video. I talked about how I was in Barcelona and me and my friend managed to get into this nightclub's VIP section completely for free. It was a really fucking bizarre night, okay? It was really, really bizarre. So let me start. In Barcelona, okay, cannabis or weed or marijuana, Mary fucking Jane, whatever you want to call it, it's legal in, in like certain ways. So there are basically regulated um, clubs, they're called, um, where you can register or sign up with a passport identification number or a driver's license number, some form of physical ID that's, um, that's actually known under the law as legal ID. But the thing is, right, the thing is, with cannabis clubs in Barcelona, before I even go into, like, exactly what they are, I'm just gonna say, cannabis club in, in Barcelona is like fucking Fight Club, you know, this film? The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. In order to get into Cannabis Club, you have to be referred by a current member of Cannabis Club. It's like a secret fucking society. So Cannabis Club, I, I felt as if it was like Fight Club. But yeah, this was the first night that we were in Barcelona, so I literally did not sleep at all the night before because I was preparing a bit of content for whilst I was out there and our flight was at 6.30 a.m. in the morning, okay? Which means I had to get up at 4.30 in the morning to go to the airport. I literally went to sleep at 3.30 a.m. because I was finishing all of my YouTube. So I literally did not sleep pretty much at all that, that night. We got to Barcelona, me and my friend were fucked. We were so tired. So we got there at around midday and we slept until like five o'clock, which is a really stupid thing to do. However, we wanted to just get a bit of energy in us to go out in the evening. When we woke up, we felt like shit. We felt like such so shit. You know, sometimes if you have a nap during the day and you're just like, ugh, you just, you just wake up, you feel disorientated, you feel tired. Sometimes you get a headache or whatever, right? We woke up and we felt fucking awful. So we just wanted to take it slow, maybe go out for some food and whatnot and just sort of chill out. My friend has friends that have been to some of these cannabis clubs before and it went up in his mind and and he said to me, you know, why don't we, uh, why don't we just for shits and gigs try out one of these like or go and visit one of these cannabis club places because his friend was a member so he thinks maybe we could get in, right? So I'm sitting there thinking, you know, I'm really, really tired, really tired. You know, the last thing I kind of really want to do right now is go to some form of shady cannabis club. I didn't really know if it was going to be shady or not. At the time, I was like thinking it was going to be really shady. It was going to be really dodgy. I have no idea what to expect whatsoever. They're like really secret sort of clubs and shit. So I didn't really, I didn't really know what to expect. So I was like, uh, uh. <laughs> my friend basically um, persuaded me to go with him. So we ended up making our way to this place. And when we got there, I was literally like, okay, this is literally fucking Fight Club. Because when we got there on uh, on Google Maps, we're searching for it, going down this street, and the entrance to this place was like this weird sort of secret graffiti the fuck out of door, wooden door, board, archway thing. All right? So I was like, I think it's in there, but I don't want to go in there. I really don't at this point because I was like this is just dodgy man And then all of a sudden this motherfucker just strolls out of these two doors and you just get this woof this like of weed 
Okay, this this guy sort of strolls out. He's got his hat on. He seems pretty chill. He seems pretty cool. He's like, he starts talking to us. And he's like, oh yeah, what's up, man? He's like, you you from London, yeah, and stuff like that. He was he was very very high, <laughs> very high. His eyes were as red as the devil's fucking dick. So we were like, hey, yeah, we're from London. Is is this the cannabis club? Um, and and stuff like that. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You wanna, you wanna come in? I can refer you guys. You know, you're seeing pretty cool. You're from London. I can ref I'm a member. I'll refer you guys. So me and my friend were like, let's go. And if worse comes to worse, my friend can say that he's got his his friends that are members there anyway, right? So we walk through this door and we go into this like little reception area, right? And uh, it's really starting to smell a bit of weed now. Like you can really sort of smell weed. And there's this weird tiny like reception area we're in with a little sort of window booth. And there was a lady sitting there. There's, well, she was like, she looked, literally looked like 20, 21 year old Spanish girl with a very nice English accent. And she straight away asked to see our membership cards. Well, <laughs> we then said we're new here and stuff like that. And then she was like, she seemed a bit shocked. She was like, it's a bit like um, facade. Is that, what it's, is that what it's called? The fucking, this game right here. You know, when you open the door and you say something wrong and that fuck face is like, Ah, I'm so happy you could make it. And she was like, where is your, like, referral person to, re to refer us, to sign up? And this high guy is like, I'll, I'll refer them, blah, 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 blah. And at the same time, my friend was like, oh, I've got friends that have already been here. We managed to sort it out. So we were allowed to sign up to fucking Cannabis Club. So we're signing up. We're, so we're given these forms to fill out. We literally had to put in our passport numbers and details. Like, it's that regulated. Because if you smoke weed outside of this regulated place, you can get fucked. However, if you smoke inside this place and buy from inside this place and do not exit from this place with weed, it's totally legal. So we signed up, took like five to ten minutes, whatever. She gave us our membership card things. I actually have the membership card right here. This is the membership card. I'm not going to show you my passport number though. But that is the membership card. So this is a ticket into fucking cannabis club. Issued on the 14th of October 2016, I am member number 1495, apparently. Anyway, so we're allowed in. So she pretty much says, on you go, you can go through the doors. So there's a second set of doors now that we open, all right? So we open this this double set of doors. We, we open it like that, okay? These double doors open out like that. I shit you not. We were hit with... It, it was like this entire place was a hot box of weed smoke. You could get high in this place literally by walking to the end of the room and back and just simply breathing. We opened this, <laughs> this double doors and we just had this woof, this fucking woof of weed. The smoke just came flying out towards us and we were like, holy shit. And the smell, the smell was like pure cannabis. Anyway, you enter at like this mid-level point, right? And you can go downstairs and upstairs. And you can see the two rooms. So downstairs, there was like a bunch of pool tables and stuff. There was like foosball. And there was like TVs and stuff down there. And these big sofas. And there were a few people just sort of chilling around, laughing, playing pool. And everyone seemed sort of really chill. And then the upstairs section was a more sort of darker, ambient sort of lounge area where there was a bar. Next to the bar is, is what's, it's like a weed green room. It's where you go in to basically get whatever weed you want. So we decided to go upstairs because that's where you have, that's where you like get the weed anyway. And I shit you not, we're, <laughs> we're looking around. There's so many different types of people in here. So looking towards the end of the room where it's a bit more dark, there were literally people that just straight up looked like vegetables. They were potatoed out in their sofas like this. And then sort of halfway through, you saw sort of like, you saw a few groups of people like playing cards and stuff, laughing or watching videos on their phone, playing games and whatnot, having a laugh, having a fun time. And then you saw people like at the bar on their laptops doing homework and shit. Like, what the fuck? It's just so bizarre to see something like that because it's so sort of like illegal here around London, you know, if you get caught with weed, you're fucked. It's just very, very sort of strange atmosphere. You know, you don't... You, here in the UK and wherever else, maybe it's the same with you. When you associate, when you think of like weed 
and buying weed, you just associate it as like crime, criminal, drug dealers, fucking dodgy drug dealers that will fuck you up. Whereas over here, it was this really like nice chill atmosphere. Everyone's laughing, having a good time and whatnot. But anyway, so me and my friend were like, okay, let's let's go and buy whatever. We, don't, we didn't really know what to do. So we went into this weed green room area and in front of it, there was this massive menu, this big, big menu. On this menu, <laughs> it was like you go to the bar to order a drink, right? Except you could choose from 24 different types of weed and several different types of hash or something. That's like a lot of weed, right? And they had a, uh, and they separated them out into like indicas and sativas. So indicas like make you really chilled and space the fuck out like a potato, like a vegetable. And uh, sativas, I think sort of, I think they give you a bit more of like a buzz and you laugh more and it's meant to be more euphoric. And then you have like the hybrids, which are like Kush, like OG Kush. For example, they sold there. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, it was 20 euros to sign up into this place, and then per gram you buy of any weed you want, I think it's 10 euros. So anyway, we pull this little curtain thing, and we go into, like, the weed room area. And we're like, hi. And all of us, this, this is the most bizarre thing for me. This girl just comes out of nowhere, and this girl is like... She's pretty attractive, okay? She's She seemed like a 19 or 20 year old Spanish girl, almost like pretty much fucking flawless, just strolls out of nowhere. And she's like in a really like nice English ac Spanish accent, like, hello, how can I help you? And I'm sort of standing there thinking like, what the fuck? She sort of just pulls around the corner and she's in. she says in this very nice English Spanish accent, she's like, Hey boys, how can I help you? And me and my friend are sort of standing there thinking like, Is this like a, dr a dream? Or am, I, am I in like a Seth Rogen dream right now? What the fuck is going on? But this is all legit, this is all real. Because you know, when you think of drug dealer in the UK or, or wherever else where it's like illegal, you think kind of dodgy-ish kind of guy usually, you know, don't really want to fuck around with them or anything like that, because they're basically criminals. Whereas here, it was just this attractive Spanish girl that looked very nice. So it was very, very weird. But we were just like, yeah, right. Um, well, we're new. We're pretty, we're very new here. And uh, we would like to try some weed. And she just sort of starts laughing. Um, but she was very, very nice. She was really, really nice. She offered to help us out and stuff. She said, like, she'll roll up the stuff for us and whatnot. So we're like, oh, cool, like, great. So we ask her, like, we don't really know what to buy. It's like our first time, like, choosing weed from a menu, if that makes sense. Normally, you, like, just get given whatever the fuck the dealer wants to give you. I think, I don't really know. But she was like, she ex she explained the whole indica and sativa thing and hash and hybrids and whatnot. And we were like, you know, I think we need, like, a, a sativa. You know, I don't, because I was tired anyway. I think an indica would just completely fuck me. So we asked for a sativa, right? And, uh, <laughs> and she was like, ah, yes, I have the stuff for you. And me and my friend are like, you do? And she's like, yes. She was like, we just got it today. And she whacks out of this container. This like, this is a pretty big container. And it is fucking full of this weed. It is absolutely full of just this pure, the this, this smell that came up from it. I was like, she was like, this is super silver haze. It's my strongest stuff and it's my favorite stuff. So me and my friend are like, cool. Like, we'll have that then. I was like, you know, thinking in my head, fuck, let's not have the strongest stuff. That's just not a very good idea, right? But it was kind of hard to resist because she was really recommending it and she was quite attractive so I was just like yeah yeah let's listen to this girl <laughs> so we get some of this stuff she goes around to the bar talks to us for a bit and like helps us roll it very laugh giggly and funny and whatnot very very nice person so we've got our blunt all right it's not a, not a joint is when you have like tobacco in it cigarette stuff a blunt is like just pure fucking weed so she recommended a blunt so we're like okay cool blunt blunt it is so we get this blunt <laughs> and uh, we we go we go back to 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 one of the sofas in the room with a table and stuff. 
we light it up, you know, just sort of, just sort of started smoking it and just talked and stuff. It was a very chilled atmosphere in there. You felt really secure and comfortable because, like, no one can get in that doesn't, that isn't allowed in that place. Like, it's very, very sort of secure. And it's legal. So, you, you don't have this paranoia that you're going to get caught with weed and you're going to get fucked. Or you don't have this paranoia that you're so in control that, you know, someone could take advantage of your situation. Because you're in this secure place where no one's going to do anything to you, everyone's in the same boat as you, they just want to chill out and relax and whatnot. So it was kind of like a cool area, if you think about it, right? So we so we start having this, uh, this blunt, and about 15 minutes in, 15 minutes in, it sort of, it hits me. So I'm talking to my friend, I can't remember what we were talking about, just something about, I think like, we, we were just like reminiscing coll about college and whatnot. And we we're just talking and talking, and then all of a sudden, I like, I just, I just can't stop smiling. Like I lit, I physically like, I could not stop smiling. And I started to feel, feel very sort of aware and like quite buzzed. And I just couldn't stop smiling. I was like, I, th I, was, I said to my friend, I think it's hitting me. <laughs> and I started laughing. And then he just completely just sort of burst out laughing at me. Cause I think it just hit him as well. And then we went into this like laughing fit. And I just found everything funny. I literally found everything we talked about for the next, like, half hour straight. It's just stupidly over-the-top funny. It was very- it was an interesting feeling, um, this stuff. I was just really, really happy. I was just really, really sort of happy and smiley and- and giggly. And I'd only had, like, sort of two takes of this blunt. Like, I didn't want to try much because, you know, I didn't really know my limit or anything. So I had, like, two tokes of it. And then, yeah, like, 15 minutes later, boom. And yeah, we just sort of chilled out for, like, three to four hours we were in there for and this is the funny thing like by about the second hour i think my friend had already bought two tubs of pringles three different types of chocolate bars two bottles of water and two cans of coke and i and i bought the same but about half of what he had because he had a lot more than i did he does weed like on the odd occasion i think anyway but yeah that is uh cannabis clubs in barcelona there was only one we went to the lady at the front desk was very nice to us, and she gave us a recommendation or a referral card to get into another one, like, it's up high somewhere in, like, a building. But anyway, yeah, that is, uh, the story of joining a cannabis club. So, let me know what you thought, if you enjoyed that. Has anyone here been in a cannabis club before? If they're from Barcelona, I don't know. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you leave the video a huge thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, and... Roll the outro.